The crude oil shipping industry's recovery has been slower than most and is playing a tight game of catch-up, with China's response to the Delta variant of COVID-19 now adding another layer of fragility. The benchmark route for crude oil is from the Middle East to Asia, where freight rates are now at their lowest since March, and ship fuel costs are soaring, according to Bloomberg, leading to a situation in which supertankers are ballasting or sailing without a cargo. According to the International Energy Agency, lower demand for supertankers and rising fuel costs means that vessel owners are losing money keeping their ships on the water. This leads to the practice not only of ballasting, but of sailing at slower speeds to save on fuel. Bunker fuel of the very low sulfur variety has seen prices spike by 50% year on year, though they are down somewhat from their July highs. Demand in Asia is now also in question, with the surge of the Delta variant of the coronavirus. With Asia as the main market for crude oil coming from the Middle East, this benchmark shipping rate could be in trouble. Anticipated volumes coming out of Asia are now the key to determining what happens next in the crude oil shipping industry. While OPEC is targeting an additional 400,000 barrels per day for August, thus increasing exports to benefit the shipping industry, it is still too early to see these effects, and there is a mixed picture of what Asian refiners are contracting from the Middle East.